Hey guys, this is Nirpom from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now, if you have not a camp housing, you're probably wondering what's the best way to attach accessories to your housing? Well, there's a quick and easy answer for that. It's the Nauticam M10 ball mounts. And these ball mounts actually attach right on to your housing right here and right here. And they also come with a lanyard, if you so desire, that will attach between the ball mounts so you can carry your housing with a lanyard. And you can also attach video lights, monitors, whatever it is you might need. So I've got the whole kit with me right here and I'm going to walk you through the installation process so you can get yourself some M10 ball mounts and install them yourself. So this is the full kit right here. You have your two M10 ball mounts which will fit on your housing right here and right here. And you also have a lanyard and a wrench. You can also get the M10 ball mount kit without the lanyard if you so desire. Uh, and I will now walk you through the full installation process. So we're starting with one of our ball mounts right here. And the first thing you want to do is you actually want to remove this ball mount with an Allen key. So you put your Allen key in. And we will be placing this ball mount back after our full installation. The next thing you want to do is remove the M10 the M10 uh, screw here and you can remove this bracket. So if you have a DSLR housing, you'll need needle nose pliers to take off uh, this piece on your M10 ball mount. We have a mirrorless housing, so we are using the screwdriver. And I'm just taking off So with your M10 mounting ball, you have one O-ring, which you don't need because this is just used in shipping. And then it will also have three plastic washers on it. Now you wanna take two of these plastic washers and you wanna put them in the hole where the M10 mount is. And then you wanna put one of these plastic washers on your M10 ball mount. You'll want to replace the bracket back in place and then you can screw in your M10 ball mount as so. You'll want to use a crescent wrench to tighten the M10 ball mount into place. Just like that. And finally, you'll want to take your ball mount and you'll want to mount it back into the bracket with the Allen key. So the pieces that will be left over from this that you do not need unless you want to remove your M10 ball mount are going to be these pieces. So you don't need this metal washer, uh, you won't need this screw, that's the M10 screw, and you won't need this M10 uh, female thread. So all of these you'll want to keep aside, set them aside for later, and you can use them when you want to remove your M10 ball mounts. Now, finally, if you do have a lanyard, your lanyard can lock right into the M10 right here and for demonstration purposes here is a clamp and a video light you can mount a GoPro you can mount buoyancy arms whatever you'd like but this is just an example of how the mounting ball works so anyway that's our installation video you do the exact same thing with the other side if you have any questions at all about this installation, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com and we would be happy to help you out. And we do think that the M10 ball mount is probably one of the most useful accessory mounts for Nauticam housing, so we highly recommend them and that's how you install them. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and we will see you out diving in the deep blue sea.